Okay. A few years ago I um, stored a Dynajet kit in the carburetor and after a fair bit of mucking around and tuning it's running bloody good. Unfortunately I drilled the slide and I put an extra hole in the uh, carburetor slide and um, during high crosswinds um, uh, the bike drops speed and loses revs and things. I think it's because you cut when you install the Dynajet kit you have to well you need to to do it properly cut a hole in the top of your airbox. So what I'm going to do today is take the slide out and fill that hole up because I don't like the uh, uh, the effect that the uh, crosswinds and things have on the on the riding of the bike. So, I'm going to loosen this carburetor off. Gently. Spin it around, try not to damage that. Like that. And you take this, be careful you don't lose the spring. Okay, here we go. See the three holes. Original, one for the needle, and that's the extra one I drilled. So I'm going to try and block that one up now and uh, take it from there. Okay, I've got this epoxy paste, steel hard in 15 minutes. I'm going to try that. Hopefully, that's okay to um, block the hole up. Seems a bit um, a lot just to uh, fill a small hole but I'll be able to use it for other stuff. Okay we've got to squeeze equal parts from each tube and onto a clean disposable surface mixed thoroughly together. Okay we'll do that then. Radio. Here's the two parts, so we're going to mix an equal quantity of each. Um, it won't take much. Smells like aerodite actually. that hole so neat you wouldn't know which was mine and which is the real one. Crikey. You don't want too much eh because you don't want to change the weight. Change the weight of this thing. Now that looks pretty good. It's bloody good actually. 
Ah, this looks pretty good. That's good. That's nice, nice. Okay. So it says uh, steel hard in 15 minutes. So, we'll wait 15 minutes or a bit longer maybe. Okay, it's been about an hour and a half. Yeah, yeah, that's hard. That's good. It needs to be all right. Only two holes now. Gotcha. There's a little ledge in there, you have to make sure the um, clip sits inside that ledge, otherwise you're in deep stuck. Spring. So that seal there goes with that little o-ring there, so that goes on that way. So make sure you get them the right way. Probably won't go on the other Like that. There's a nip up. Thus. Straighten that up. There. Tighten these babies. Back in. Like that. If you only undo the top bolt, then you still have the correct adjustment. Hopefully, you've moved it. 10 mil spanner. Make sure you've got still got the correct adjustment there. Mm. Not much adjustment there, eh? Might have to adjust that. Put all the gear back on, we'll see how it goes. Now, I can't really test it in windy conditions because it's in the garage.
pull it back further once I've driven it in the wind and we'll see how we go.